What is up, everybody? I am happy to announce we are 10 subscribers away from our giveaway, guys. We are 50-something days ahead of schedule of uh, what I expected out of this channel. We're going to kick the night off with uh, some budget baller. Um, I know I, I gave you guys a, a, a 4 to 8 rare um, for the budget. Uh, we're going to kick it off. I believe this one has maybe 12 in it, but it is a budget deck. Uh, about as budget as you can get. Um, this is going to be white weenies. It, it's not going to have Helia and all that crazy mess in there. But we're going to start out with uh, four fairy uh, godmothers, four giant killer, four uh, one has the marshal, four healer hawk, four hunter witness, four loyal pegasus, four raise the alarm, four tide taker, three unbreakable formation, four heraldic banner, four venerated loxodon, four castle ardenvale, and sixteen planes. Guys, if you really want to make this budget, take out the Castle Ardenvale. Um, probably take out the Tide Taker. Put you a couple more one drops in here, and uh, you'll be on your way. All right, guys. Uh, for a sideboard, we got three Devout Decree for your uh, red, red and black creature decks. Two Disenchant for your like uh, Witches of and stuff like that. Three Glass Casket for creature decks. Three Hushbringer for uh, Enter the Battlefield triggers. Uh, and also we have four banishing light for uh, our annoying planeswalker decks, just uh, fires and vengeance, just stuff we can't normally get rid of. All right, guys, I'm gonna play about two games for you tonight. I uh, don't have any arena codes or anything, but uh, if you would and you haven't already, please subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and uh, you'll be notified whenever you whenever I upload a new video. But uh, that's the deck, guys. We're gonna go ahead and jump in, and uh, we're gonna play. We're going to play at least two games for you guys tonight. Um, I did play this game, in, or this deck, in a standard. And the deck is very, very fast and very good. Especially with your unbreakable formations, guys. You just dump some 1-1s, one play a Venerator Loxodons, and then uh, just bust out your uh, unbreakable formation. And, and that's pretty much game over. Uh, very fast deck, guys. If it does get board wiped, it's pretty much over with. Uh, it's not very resilient. It does have creatures like the Tide Taker um, and the uh, Haunted Witness uh, that do give afterlife whenever they die. Now, another choice uh, instead of the instead of the Horogic Banner, we can be used hang, Hanged Executioner. Uh, the Hanged Executioner is uh, yeah, we can't keep this. We're going mulligan here, guys. The Hanged Executioner is, um, I think it's three when, or four whenever it comes in. Um, you make a 1-1, one, one, and then you can pay four and exile it, and then exile another creature. All right, we're going to keep this, guys, and we're going to put back a land. We want to run this deck on about two to three lands is all you want to draw on this deck, guys. But I'm going to try to keep the video short, sweet, simple, uh, show you some good games of Magic. And uh, show you what this deck has, guys. All right, so turn two. On our turn two, as long as they don't get rid of this, we're going to play both our godmothers. All right, I'll show you another trick here, guys. we just go ahead and attack. All right, we're going to play our Raise the Alarm. And that's going to give us three creatures. And we'll be able to play our Luxton off for free. All right, that is, that is okay with me. I thought we were playing some kind of ramp deck here, guys. Let's show you how fast this deck can get, guys. There's our unbreakable. All right, so we're gonna play a uh, a guide mother. That's four creatures. Play. No, I played the wrong card. That's fine. That is fine. Uh, we'll be able to lift something up anyway. Uh, auto pay all that. Uh, Lockstone comes down, gives everything a 1-1 counter. Uh, hopefully draw a land next turn, uh, bust out unbreakable formation. And, uh, oh, really now, huh? Gonna get rid of our Lockstone on. Okay, that's fine. Uh, land. Oh, man. Uh, let's see what we want to do here, guys. Let's, uh, let's just get in some damage here, guys. Let's, uh, lift something up in the air. Let's just lift up this giant killer here. Uh, 
So if we would have hit a land, it'd been over with, guys. Now we have about 11 here. We won't be able to play our unbreakable formation this time. Everything uh, costs two more. Alright, Kalithi's okay. I haven't actually played against this deck before. Come on now. Quit doing me dirty. There's our land that we can't play. So, what we're going to do, we're going to tap this guy down here. Uh, play our guy, mother. Get in for six. Giant killer is very good as well, guys, when they play creatures. Uh, two mana tap any creature down, no matter the power or anything. Alright, so they're, they're getting a little nervous here. If we, uh, if we get down tap with at least the flyers, we're golden. Oh, there's a game, guys. Told you the deck is very fast. Uh, see what we're going to do for Cyber. We definitely want to bring in the Banishing Lights. And that may be all I want to bring in, guys. Um, maybe take out the Giant Killers. Let's try it like that, guys. Like I said, this deck is all about two or three lands. You've seen we just won the game with three lands there. We go to one with two, possibly if they didn't, um, they didn't kill our other guy. I right, see so this is a two lander, easy keep here, guys. We'll go turn one, uh, healer hawk, turn two, tide taker. Might need one more land that way we can play double spell on uh, turn three. Get this uh, locks it on out as fast as we can, guys. Uh, there's our land. So here's a healer hawk. Uh, they come ready with the geese today, guys. So you ain't getting through. I still wanna, still gonna uh, gain me a little life here, brother. All right, it's perfect right here, guys. We'll go ahead and play our Tide Taker. And we are going to swing, just gain a little life. Now, next turn, we can either, um, well, we can drop the banner, which I think we do want to drop. Let's go ahead and drop this banner here. Now, Guys, we're not going to drop the banner right now. This thing can get pretty under uh, out of control, so we'll go ahead and just uh, banish it like that, guys. Get in for uh, at least two, because they're not going to get rid of their Gilded Goose. Yeah. A little bit slower start here for us, guys, but of course, we got to deal with stuff like this. Let my buddy at uh come on now, don't banish light. My banishing light. Okay, tie taker, that's fine with me. Uh let a buddy of mine borrow uh, my white wing deck. I actually have this built in paper, guys. Um But I have the uh that card I was talking about earlier instead of these in there. The uh hanged executioner. They're going to be in some big trouble here in just a second, guys, if they don't sweep this board. Okay. Here, they got a Heliod. Yeah, that's not very good for them. Got them a land. That's fine. All right, so. That's what we're going to do here, guys. Uh, we're going to lock it on. Of course, we do want to tap these. Give them the counters. All right, now, if they try to, if they do have a board wipe, we do have this for backup, guys. 
This gives uh this gives our creatures indestructible. Alright, so we got the Loxodon out. Got the two healer hawks. They they gotta do something pretty quick. It's gonna be over with. Shatter the sky. Now watch this guys. Unbreakable formation. Yeah, we'll see ya. We'll see ya. Yeah, that's ball game right there, guys. It's gonna be ball game. Let's say shatter the skies again. Hope not. They may just scoop it up right here, guys. All right, there's game. That, look, 2-0 right there, guys. I don't know what they were kind of playing. They're kind of playing like a green white or a heliod kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and play another one for you guys. We ain't but like what five minutes in? Uh, we're 11 minutes in. Okay. Colt Guild Mage. Right, let's go ahead and play another one for you guys and uh, show you this deck. Now, guys, after the games, I will show you what you can cut and can put in. Uh, based on how many rares and stuff you got. Like the giant killers, they're not even necessary. You can play you can play glass casket in the main board instead of giant killers. I mean of course you want the giant killers, but I'm just saying I'll show you a little bit watered down version of it that is still actually pretty good. Now, that is not a good hand. Now, this is better we're going to put back a land. Right. In this situation, I am going to play the... Uh, need to play a land first. I am going to play the uh, giant killer out, depending on what else they got here. Probably a uh, ramp deck. Alright, so we're going to let them do what they got to do, guys. Probably think we have nothing. Raising Lauren's very good. Very good car, guys. We need to get us a Loxodon, though. They're probably playing a Euro deck or something. What are you doing here, opponent? Let's see what they do. Alright, I think I'm going to raise the alarm here. Kill their Paradise Druid. Let me counter it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Alright, we need to quit drawing some lands here now. I believe they are a Euro deck, so. These giant killers can hold them at bay if they wind up escaping one from the graveyard. All right, come on, opponent. Cash up. Pounding heart. Racing mind. Well, that ain't Surrender cool of you. To me. So we'll definitely bring in the bench lights. Another land. Given That's fine, guys. Let's go ahead and tap this down. Get in at the Ashiok. Try to get rid of this thing. Hey, guys, if you if you draw way too many lands, it's, it's brutal on you guys. We may go ahead and just scoop it up right here. I believe we're too far behind. Let's see what we draw here, guys. That 3 3 is not the end of the world. Yeah, 
let's go ahead and scoop it up. Yeah, we had, we had just, we got land flooded that game, guys. Like I said, you only want about two or three lands in this deck. Devout Decree to get rid of that Planeswalker. Banish the Lot to get rid of it too. Now we're going to take out the Giant Killer, guys. So I don't see no reason for it. Uh, we can take out the, the Banner. I don't really like the Banner in this in this deck, guys. I believe I like the uh, Hanged Executioner better. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, run it back like that. All right, opponent. Deep in the tank here. Go make my 20 minute video into a 45. Playing two games. We'll play first. I right, got see this right here. This this is a perfect hand, guys. Perfect hand. Be even better if we had a uh, instead of like this devout decree. If we had a um, venerated loxodon, we may draw into him. All right, let's get it, opponent. Let's get it. Come on with it. Any sleevey cards up or nothing? Want him on my team. Go ahead and get those out there while they're uh, tapped out, guys. <clears throat> Don't have anything to play. Let's see what they got here. Nothing didn't look like. All right. Oh. They got a mystical dispute. I think they do. Let's go ahead and just uh just attack with everything, guys. Let them do what they got to do. Tyrant Scorn. That's fine. <clears throat> what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to... Uh, we're going to raise the alarm on the end of their turn. Hopefully. Let's raise the alarm here, guys. Care nothing about that love truck beast. It yeah, was screwed up here, guys. We should have shouldn't have played our healer hawk and held up our unbreakable formation just in case they had. <clears throat> a sweeper. I think they're just going to play the love truck. Yeah, that is completely fine. Let's not get greedy here, guys. Let's just hold up. Let's just hold up what we got. Guys, 
Oh, well, they got Nissa. Okay. That's fine. You don't care about we will not fail. We got a 3-3. Three -three. Behold, nature's true power. Uh, we'll just unbreakable formation this next turn, guys. And, or we can even banner. It doesn't matter. They're tapped out, so. Do we even show them we got the embarking formation? Let's just, uh. Yeah, let's just banner here, guys. Well, they may have something with this mana here. I guess not. What you got upon it? Kid me right now. Noxious grass. You're kidding, right? You see this, guys. You seeing this? Unbelievable. I better do something other. There we go. I was about to say. Like really? I know they probably had up something with that overgrown tomb, the way they were acting. Alright, so let's, uh... Oh, man. Let's just run it back, guys. <clears throat> Devout Decree is... kind of iffy a little bit. I do want to take this banner out. Let's put in a, let's put in two giant killers. Um, take out one decree. I did see some love struck that they brought in, so. Uh, we are on the on the draw this time, so. No telling what may happen here, guys. <coughs> All right, let me know how you like the deck so far, guys. I believe this deck will run you about probably $15 in paper. You can sleeve this bad boy up. Rares and all, complete, 100%. Go to your local F&M or uh, LGS, play a, a Friday Night Magic, Thursday, whatever. Standard tournament. And beat everybody in the house with it. I've actually won a store championship with this deck, guys. <clears throat> the deck is good. I mean, I'm sure it gets beat a lot, too, but the deck is really good. Uh, we're going to keep this one, too, guys. Hopefully, they leave our hand alone and not kill our creatures, and we'll be good to go. Uh, they did mulligan down. Put that on the bottom, please. Now they left it on top. Ah, uh, that's perfect right there, guys. We got the... We got the uh, three lands. About to play, play two more creatures this turn. Let's see what they do here, guys. Oh my goodness, look at here. <clears throat> Let's go has the marshal. Now the has the marshal is great because whenever it attacks and uh, two other creatures, you get a one one now. They're gonna kill something here. They got a noxious grass, I can see it. You probably wanna kill him. <coughs> Tyrant's going okay. We got our packages, that's fine. What you got upon it? Right, they're gonna wait on us. Alright, so I'm gonna hold on to this locks it on right now. I believe they got a counter spell. Let's just hold on to it for just a minute, guys. That's fine.
using all their kill spells to just get rid of these little one ones. That's perfectly fine to me. I like it may be stuck on three lands here, guys. We may steal a game from them. Now there's the Euro. Alright, now now is our opportunity to go all out. I don't think they have a board sweep. Uh, a board wipe, so. If they do anything, they're probably gonna play a Nissa next turn. Well they did bottom. Probably gonna play a Nissa. Now we need a one drop right here. That's absolutely perfect. Alright guys, if they don't do something right here real quick. It's gonna get real out of hand for them with this unbreakable formation. They don't have enough to uh, escape their Euro. So what do they got? They're about to kill this with Noxious Grass, probably. Oh, Grass, go, go, Gari Queen, okay. Fine, we ain't worried about that, guys. Got rid of the Healer Hawk, okay. There's a raise of alarm, just in case. Um, I think we just... Uh, Maybe we just keep our guard up with the unbreakable formation. If they don't do anything, we'll raise the alarm. If they don't do anything after that, we'll... Well, we can't make a 1-1 one -one yet, guys. I want to see them play this Euro. They played another one, okay. That's fine. Play all the little euros you want. Let's see. They're going to what? 19, 16. Got 16 life. The auto racer. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we gotta play the raise alarm, guys. They got us on that. Man, if we can hit one off the top, it'd be game. That ain't it. But we're going. Take a little bit of damage here. <clears throat> Got him at six. So they do have enough to play a Euro, but we got we got stuff to play around that. Cry, man, are you kidding me? I we still have the uh, Loxodon. I see him pass turn here. Uh, we do get a one-one. Uh, breakable formation will be perfect. Uh, I don't think they have another sweeper. Let's get them to one, guys. Yeah, let's play the locks, Don. What's the worst that's going to happen? <clears throat> they don't have something here, they're dead, guys. Now this is a tier one deck, everyone. Now they're gonna play the Euro, game three, go to four, block one, they're dead. Boom, baby! Hey, told you guys, little white weenies coming at them. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Hey, $15 deck just smashed the $400 deck. Hey. Try to tell you guys, that's what I'm talking about. Budget ballers, right there. All right, guys, let's do, let's do a little recap now. Uh, that got, got me excited. Uh, let's go to our weenie deck here. Um, uh, absolutely must have. Tide takers are not a must have. Um, you can actually put in, uh, uh, what's that other flyer? Or the oh the the uh, law rune enforcer? You can put him in instead. It's not as good, but it is. It's a one drop. That way you can uh. Also, um, a Johnny's Pride mate is actually good. <clears throat> instead of Tide Taker. 
Todd Taker is just uh, mainly for uh, instance, kind of, but it's more for the afterlife. And it also is a 2-1 body, but um, uh, the, instead of the Herodic Banner, I would actually take that out and uh, put in this guy here. I'll show you. Take just a second. Let's, let's find him. I think he's a 3-drop. Can't remember his name exactly. What was his name? Oh, Hanged Executioner. Uh, Hanged Executioner is a 1-1 one, one flyer. When it enters the battlefield, you create a 1-1 one, one spirit creature token with flying. You can pay four, and you, it lets you ex you got to exile him, and then uh, the ex it'll exile any target creature. So that gets rid of a lot of stuff. Uh, in the sideboard, of course, you can take the Castle Ardenvilles out too, but they're they're cheap too, guys. Locks of Dawns are cheap. This whole deck is like I'll give you, I'm going to put the deck down below in the description. But everything is really cheap, guys. The Hushbringers might be the most expensive thing in the deck, and they might be a dollar. But yeah, like I said, uh, you can cut, give or take. Now, of course, on Arena, <clears throat> uh, if you don't have the rares, the first thing I would cut would be the Castle Ardenvale. You've seen it pretty much uh, help us close the game out there, but um, it's not that important. Just run 20 planes. Uh, the Tide Takers, of course, you can take them out. Um, run another little one-drop flyer or, or even a two-drop flyer if you can find one. Um the giant killers you can run uh, uh, glass casket but I'd recommend getting the giant killers if you have them but guys there is the deck oh and also if you want to upgrade the deck um, I would take out the disenchants and maybe one banishing light and add uh, two or three Gideon black blades in there that's very resilient against control decks but there's the deck, guys. I'm excited tonight. We had a good budget ballers. 30-minute <clears throat> video. We are 10 subscribers away from that wood of foothills. Um, when we hit 100, guys, I will I will make a video saying, hey, you know, we hit 100 subscribers, blah, 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 blah. You have to comment on that video. You're going to have to comment. That's the only way I can see it. So... Uh, once I do that video, I will announce it saying, you know, uh, Wooded Foothills giveaway, comment below. That That's going to be the title of the video. <clears throat> but you're going to have to comment on the video. That way I can get everybody's name into the bucket. Now, if we can get 30, 40 people to comment, I know some of you guys may not. Like, I'm going to let it run for a couple days. That way everybody gets the, the chance to enter the, uh, enter the drawing. Um doesn't matter if you're subscribed or not um, hope you do subscribe if you do see this video but uh, and like my stuff but other than that uh, we'll get there when we get there we just need 10 more guys that's my goal uh, the goal is supposed to end in uh, what is it 55 days 54 days something like that uh, yeah it's way way beyond my expectations but uh, guys I appreciate you watching me I appreciate all the support. Uh, I'm going to get out of here tomorrow. I do have um, a deck submission. Uh, we're going to be playing. Uh, I don't even know what it is. I have to go back and look at it. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a real spicy one. It's actually pretty good, guys. Um, but, yeah, until uh, next time, guys, we'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. And uh, we'll see you.